Hi guys, welcome back to the Humble Gamer channel. I'm the Humble Gamer, and this is some more of my uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to Euro Trucks. Last time we took a dodgy, potentially dicey decision to drive to Calais from Cambridge. It has paid off. Uh, we've got a job going back to Felix so we can complete Britain. One thing we didn't do was tick off Calais. You can see right at the top of, I know this doesn't come through very clearly for you guys, but right at the top of France is Calais. So that's one of the 30 cities in France that we have to do ticked off. But now we're going to go to Felixstowe. So we're on to day three as well. I need to, I need to write that down in my notes. So yes, here we go. We're taking... What's it we're taking? Oh, we're in, a, we're in a French lorry as well. We're taking a reservoir tank to Felixstowe. Probably put some lights on. It is let's see, ten past five in the morning. The good thing is this should not be a particularly difficult nor long drive. And most of it is in Britain. We've literally just touched the tip of the continent. Just the tip. Right hand side of the road, right hand side of the road, right hand side of the road, right hand side of the road. Sorry car. <laughs> Sorry, I'm English. <laughs> and thus terrible at <laughs> stuff. Actually, I genuinely, I, I can't remember actually whether it said Calais was discovered or not. I feel like I'm certain it did, but I need to double check that because Calais may not have been discovered, which means we can untick Calais. Which means this is literally, I mean, ultimately, a, it was a pointless jaunt in many ways, but it did get us this job to Felix, though. Oh no, Calais is in yellow, Calais is in gold, Calais has been discovered. Okay, embarkation, back across the channel. Calais has actually been discovered, yes, it has gone yellow, lovely, that's fine. So I was right to tick it off, which is good. Oh, hello, other lorry. Now the port's going to start getting busy. Lots of trucks coming to go to England. Don't hit stuff. Don't hit stuff. Thank you. Sorry, underneath underneath my face, which you guys can't see. Um, in my in my left hand in my driver's side mirror, there were some rocks in the in the shrubbery. I'll go around this way then, just to get me away from that other. Well, we've bought our ticket, we're all, we've got through customs, we're all good. I'm saying that that's what's happened because it just makes it easier. Well, there's no there's no official speed limit in the port, so we can just bomb our way through this. Oh! Though I did hit the ticket booth, I would have just caused an international incident. <laughs> But, you know, we're not going to concern ourselves with that right now. I couldn't have done this job if I hadn't taken the... Um, the one upgrade in... Um, journey distance. Because it's 177 miles still to go. And I was only allowed to do 155 as of. Right, you do your thing. Honestly. There's two lanes though, buddy. Person in the right hand and the other lane should be able to go while you go. Can't remember any French swear words. Oh, meld, but. Doesn't really affect. <laughs> it's not really suitable for that particular instance. But yeah, so the, the jaunt to Calais has been a success. And it was a risk that was the right thing 
to do, it was the right risk to take. But, <laughs> I do not wish to go through that decision again. Where do I go now? Onto here? Yes. Sorry, confused because there was a, there was an arrow pointing right off there, so I was like, oh. that, that just happened. <laughs> that was disconcerting. So, well, just what we're travelling to do, but let me just double check what on earth just went on. <laughs> Nothing obvious, I think maybe my, my phone? Oh, either way. Um. Alright, so back up to Felix, though. I turn my lights off now since it is five to seven in the morning. Oh, okay, we're back on the track that I wanted us to be on. I.e doing the British side of things first in one go. But now we're on a left hand drive tr on a on left hand drive roads in a right hand drive truck. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Hundred and forty five miles up to Felix though. Ah, don't hit that. <laughs> Maybe don't aim at the wall, humble, that would be good. So I'm surprised it was okay, I kept telling the speed and it was fifty, I was like that was a genuine shock since we were in Certainly not having the wing mirror on the right, like the British lorries do. I don't have the wing mirror on the right, and you can actually see it now. But it doesn't do the same job as the one that I'm used to. That I'm used to having on that side, so because the one that's underneath my face now, the one that's got the, the multiple levels and the. All that sort of stuff. I'm used to having that on my left hand, on the left hand side of the screen, on the right hand side of the screen. Sorry, so I can see everything. But now it's not so much. I've got to drive 142 miles in this lorry that's the wrong way round. Come on, come on. Is actually sending me the, the quickest way <laughs> or the best way. So, some of this is what we drove in the last episode, obviously. Oh. I'm genuinely quite relieved that there was a job coming back to back to Britain from Calais because that. That, that way we can maintain the, the integrity of the series and the integrity of the idea and of the adventure. But also it's quite opening because that just shows how much more detail there is in the European cities than there is in the British ones, because Calais looked a lot like Calais, whereas Dover looks a bit like Dover. Silly buggers. Ow. I think I just hit the the barrier. 
I don't think it did any damage. Right, okay. Here we go. It is genuinely disconcerting that everything's the, that everything's the opposite way round. Gonna have to get used to it. Get used to it though, because once I get onto the continent, once I'm done with Britain, and I don't have a British truck, I will be because I'm hitchhiking. I will be hitchhiking in European trucks, which means that well, I'm actually hitchhiking, literally hitchhiking in Euro trucks, won't I? So sorry, I think I hit the microphone then. If that came through, I do apologise. There we go, that's more like it. Lovely. So that's the other issue with not owning my own truck. I'm going to drive a lot of it in trucks that are, for me, the wrong way round. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about that. I'm going to have to get used to this configuration. So this is kind of a look into the future of this series, where we will be in a few episodes' time. Well, not in this series, because this series is just the British Isles. But once we get on to mainland Europe... Oh, better get used to this. My actual controller's getting twitchy, I think. Hundred and thirty miles to Felixstowe. No, I haven't been to Felixstowe <laughs> since. I'm going to ignore the speed limit for it, just for entertainment value. You might fall over. I might. <laughs> or slip and slide on the wet ground. Oh God! Ferries to the right. I'm stuck oh. in the entrance. Fuck it, I'm going to reverse in. Ferries to the right. Oh, oh he's coming down. Oh, he's here, coming he down. here he comes. <laughs> here he comes. Here he comes. No. Oh, no. God. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh. Second place in the humble game! <laughs> Check that out in the description below. It's the very first episode of that series. Uh, and that, that was quite a good, that was quite a fun journey. And it was very close, that race. Very close indeed. Well, for two of us it was very close. For the other one, not so much. If you want to know what I'm talking about, check out the link in the description below to Euro Truck Simulator 2 Races. With the Brodown guys. Let's go back to the early days of the channel, that is. He's going there, that's fine. I'm going to stick in this leg because I think I can overtake him. I think I can have him. But then again, I'm not so sure, so I think I will actually go into the left-hand lane just to be a good, conscientious driver. As we go over this bridge over something in Britain... I'm generally not entirely sure what bridge this is. But there we go. Someone who knows the roads around London and the South East better than I do, please do let me know. I can't fathom what bridge that would be because, I mean, I guess it would have to be somewhere like the Medway. Maybe the Thames, but that seems... No, the Thames is north of us at the moment, isn't it? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. And I probably should do. I need to be in that lane. So you can let me across truck. Are you going to let me across, truck? Yes, thank you. That's all I needed to know. Now, where do we think Radus is going? Do we think Radus is going with us to Felixstowe, or do we think he's going to Southampton or to London itself? Well, he can't be going to London itself. He's in completely the wrong lane for that. He's going to Southampton. Whereas we are definitely going to Felixstowe. A 
bits of the M25. Slowed a bit quick there, not going to lie. Did something that I told someone else, an AI off for doing in the pre in previous episodes. I hope Felix though is helpful to us as well. Because Felix though being helpful to us can really speed up this part of the adventure, this part of the journey. very next junction I believe. Pardon me. Yeah we are and then taking the road to Felix though. I mean like Felix out to London or Dover would be perfect. We could tick off quite a bit of the southeast then, then we could move west to Wales and Southampton and Plymouth. But the problem is, the, the more places we tick off, the more difficult it is to guarantee we'll get um, get um, the opportunity to hitchhike there because we're, we're narrowing our options now. And we are, uh, so we're getting to the point now where in Britain we're like, we're going this way. <laughs> so even just moving in the right direction at this, at this point is probably a good thing. Yeah, because we are we are starting to have diminishing options now. Right, sixty two miles to Felix though. It's getting close, folks. Then yeah, London, Dover, Southampton, uh, Cardiff, Swansea, Plymouth, and then Britain's done. No, I need to be in the other lane. Again, I think I hit the microphone there, for which I do wholeheartedly apologise if that sprung through your ears. This is an odd experiment, isn't it? <laughs> It's not. It's not thing to record, because you're just watching someone travel around Europe. Now, I'm going obviously for the for the idea that obviously people who like Euro trucks will like this, and people who like travelling will like it, and people who like the Humble Gamer channel will hopefully like it. Um, but also, I'm kind of guessing that there's probably a, an amount of people that just find this game relaxing to listen to, or find driving sounds and chatter relaxing to listen to. So. I'm hoping that, you know, maybe on the background, maybe on the podcast you listen to while you play Euro Trucks. <laughs> podcast, maybe on the videos you listen to. 
or you know, Elite Dangerous or something like that, you know. I think that's maybe Elite Dangerous, that's a game I haven't touched in a long time. Both either for the channel or for myself personally. Did the review of the Odyssey update, got slammed by the internet. Did the editorial on the Odyssey, Odyssey update, which basically said you were right to slam me because I didn't mention these things, but I also didn't have these problems. So the problems exist, I didn't talk about them because I didn't experience them. You see, if you'd let me go, Van, you could have not undercut me. <laughs> you could have slowed, I'd have come in, you could have gone round me in the legal manner. As opposed to being a twat. Fuck's sake. Fucking van drivers. <laughs> Fucking van drivers. Ugh. Helix Star. 20 miles away, 31 minutes away in game. And maybe take the foot off the accelerator for this bit. There we go. But whack it down for this bit. Come on. Please be a business inside Felix to city limits. So it goes yellow. Because I have to have done all this and then be outside Felix Doe and not get Felix Doe to tick off would be. I mean, about right for the tone of the series, but <laughs> I would be livid. Livid. Absolutely bloody livid is what I'd be. Oh, speeding. <laughs> Which we're not supposed to do. There we go. Okay, there's the board for Felix Doe. Oh no, there were roadworks on the way into Felix Doe anyway. So Felix O discovered we've got it in yellow. It was we've made all of these journeys were worth it. The detour to Calais, everything, all the nerves, all the I'm not sure whether this is going to be a good idea. It is. It was a good idea. And also last time I was here, all those years ago doing that race, the reason these roadworks were still here at Felix O. So the roadworks don't move. Bit of a shame that. Never mind. Or maybe they ju uh, they do move, and it just this is the cycle that they're on now. Now, Felix, I think I it was ferries to the right was the big sign that <laughs> we all got to, but I'm not going to the ferry, so I probably won't see that sign. So I'm going straight across here at Felix, do I might. I think I came into Felix to a different way in the race. I could be wrong. Oh no, no, this is this is where it was. This is the This is the ferries to the right sign. Is it? No, no it wasn't, no. Oh, ferries to the right. <laughs> that was that was a moment. It's a genuine moment in my life was ferries to the right. 
that there's a sign up there that says ferries to the right. <laughs> However, we are going into LKW, which means we're gonna. Park this stuff. I'm gonna park this massive tank. Where would you like it? Right in front of me. So we'll do what we did last time at LKW. We will swing the load around. Oh, I got fined for that one. It's okay, I've done my penance and I consider the matter closed. Prime Minister. I need to get that way, don't I? Yeah. I need to get that way and then pull it back round. Can I make this a parkable angle? No. No is the short answer to that question. I cannot. I cannot do that. Not with that approach. But from here, it could become a parkable angle if I'm clever and steady. This won't be bang on. There's no way they'll let me have that, I don't think. Could be wrong, but no. Yeah, no, they're, they're not letting me have that. I've hit the factory. And I wouldn't let me have that if I'd hit if I'd hit a fa if it was my factory that I'd hit. Slight adjustment to the angle. And after that, I think we are going to be good. Yeah, I think we're pretty much golden here. Oh, okay. Made it worth my while, and I think we will hit 50 grand in finances after doing this job. But even despite the fine. Oh, okay, yes, we will. And we're still just an enthusiast. Lovely. So next port of call will be to find out what we've got job-wise from Felix. So hopefully we can, like I said, cover the south and the south and west of England from this point forward. But either way, thank you ever so much for watching. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please do like and subscribe. Check out the game in the description below. Check out my annotations on the screen you're about to see. Check out my other Eurotruck stuff that I've discussed in this video uh, down below. And check out my grand adventure in the, in the description down below. Thank you ever so much for watching. I was me. That was Hitchhiker's Guide to Eurotrucks. See you very soon, guys. Goodbye. Oh! Oh, my God, oh, great. I'm on fire. This is... You're what? I know, you're what? You're on fire? 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 You're